In today's video, I'm doing a two canvas Dutch pour. I wanted to do another flower shape with my Dutch pour and then do a stencil over both canvases to have a uh, matching stenciled pour. I'm using my colors of pink, orange, and yellow, and then I will have white for my base coat. I do have my hair dryer to blow out my colors, and then I also have my little um, straw attachment that I'll use just to blow out some of the colors a little bit more to get some more uh, definition in my pour. But I'm just going to start out by putting my white base down and then I add each of the colors in a half moon shape and then when I blow them out I've been able to get a nice flower shape with the hair dryer by just doing the half moon on one side of the canvas. Once I had my colors blown out, I just used the little straw attachment to kind of blow on that white a little bit more and it just creates a little bit more of a unique design um, among the petals that I've been able to create with the hair dryer. And before doing the stenciled portion, I'll let these dry for one to two days, uh, depending on how quickly they dry, most likely two days, and then we will move on to the stencil. So the stencil that I'm using is one that I previously used. Um, there's a little bit of writing on the side and I don't want the writing on that in, this time. So I'm going to just tape over it before I start adding my paint so that I don't have to scrape, try and scrape a stenciled word off after I start adding my paint. I just like to take a couple of pieces of tape and just tape down my stencil so it doesn't move once I start adding the paint. So my paint that I'm using is a really thick gold paint. It works really well for stenciling and then I just have a silicone spatula that I use to smooth the paint right on. And I'm going to try and line up my canvases so that when I do this on the other side, they'll be matching uh, and hopefully not be off too much on those. But I just use the spatula and just gently go over the entire stencil with that really nice thick gold paint. And then while it's still wet, I immediately remove the stencil. I never let the stencil dry with the paint on it because I, I just get worried that it's going to pull off the design. Once I had my first canvas done, I cleaned off my stencil so that I wouldn't have any paint transfer and then just did the exact same thing on the other stencil. I put the canvases pretty close together and lined them up so that the stencil would be um, even on both sides and then just taped it down before using my spatula to just add more of that gold paint to it. And it ended up turning out really well. Um, the gold just dries really, really beautifully and my stencils lined up. So this turned out to be a really nice set. And I think that gold will look really, really good once I get some resin on it. And it'll just be a really cute matching piece. 
And one thing that you could do if the corners where that white paint is is just too uh, boring or bland, you could um, also put a stencil in each of those corners. But I don't know if I really want to add anything more to this. I might try it in a future painting. Uh, I don't know if it'd make it a little bit too busy, but you could find some really nice um, small stencils to fill in those areas. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do post two videos a week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.